Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the Power Rangers Super Samurai, Samurai Gigazord. Uh, no, this isn't a set featuring every single uh, Zord for the Samurai line. This is actually a uh, deluxe Megazord in the shape of the Gigazord. Yeah, it's kind of complicated. You can see it right here. It morphs into what they pass off as a spaceship. We'll uh, get to that as well. Uh, so on the uh, side here, you actually get a cool picture of Super Sam or Super Mega Mode Red and the other Mega Modes. That's pretty neat. On the back here, it shows all of the uh, Zord Builder functionality. Uh, as you can see down here, you can uh, combine it with the Bull Zord or Bull Mega Zord or whatever. Attach its arms. You can combine it with the Samurai Mega Zord by attaching the arms. And the claw sword by attaching the arms. It's not that thrilling. It's just arm swapping. You can do that with uh, all of the Megazords. So that's not really too much of a surprise. Nor is it anything official or worthwhile really. Uh, it also shows the fact that you can combine it with the light sword. Uh, I can hold the light sword. And the claw sword can become an arm. Uh, meaning that the Scorpion Zord can also become an arm. Uh, the Swordfish Zord can become an arm. Um, I think that's that's all the various arm-related things. So yeah, uh, here it is in all of its giga glory. So let's go ahead and pan up a bit. Can't get the whole thing in the camera frame, so we'll just kind of take a look at it as we go. Uh, so yeah, it's in the style of the Gigazord, but done in a really strange, condensed fashion. Um, so there really isn't too much to say. I mean, in terms of functionality, it goes like this. It can do the monkey like Johnny Bravo. Uh, and it comes with uh, the... Whatever the English name for this is, the Daishinken. I think it's just the sword. Uh, that can fit in its hand. And it can attack people. That's that's all it does in terms of base functionality. Um, a lot of paint is not here, clearly. I mean, there's no silver here on the claw zord legs. Uh, the turtle zord is not painted. The ape zord is not painted. Um, the beetle zord up here is not painted. The swordfish zord up here is not painted. Bits of the claw sword up here aren't painted. The arms aren't painted. Uh, the only thing that's actually done really well is this head section right here. And the body is not too shabby. It's missing a little bit of paint here in the chest area. But outside of that, not too shabby. Uh, the head's actually done really well. Uh, all the paint's there. The eyes are there. The head crest is there. Um, everything looks pretty nice up here. But the the body itself is just really bland. There's no paint detailings down here on the dragon and a uh, ape. Bear Zords. Uh, so, yeah, there's just lots of paint missing from this thing. Uh, from the side, it looks a lot more presentable than the actual Gigazord does. It actually looks uh, like a flat, normal Megazord. Uh, so that's interesting. And then, uh, straight up from the back, obviously even less paint. No paint back here, just uh, pure black, which isn't really too bad, considering what the normal Gigazord looks like from behind. Uh, the... Octozord here with, again, no paint, um, and then these sections here, I can't remember what portion of the Gigazord that is, actually. But, uh, yeah, so, it's weird, it really is weird. Um, before I just kind of pause and mind explodes because of how weird this is, it does transform into a spaceship. Spaceship. Uh, okay, so to do that, we pop this section off right here, take off the Gigazord disc. Um, it's pretty much the same one that came with uh, the normal uh, Bull Megazord, except very shiny. So if we take our Spin Sword just to see it in action, I need to move my light. If you can see that, it's just the symbol with a glowy, fiery background. Nothing too 
extraordinary. So you switch that around so it's now uh, facing the same direction as the Octazord face. Set that aside, tear off the arms. Like I said, these are just the typical Zord Builder joints. Uh, you can stick any of the Megazord arms on here. You can stick the Swordfish Zord on here, the Scorpion Zord, the, the Claw Zord, the little one. Uh, it even has Zord Builder ports down here, so you can attach the arms to his legs or something like that. There's actually a functionality that involves the spaceship mode here. Uh, switch this around, and these will peg together. But you are going to want to pop it off and switch it around so that these claw zord pieces are sticking upward. Just like that. And then place the swordfish side over here and the beetle side over here so that the uh, screw pieces are facing each other. Then lastly, you plug in... Uh, those plugs with those holes right there. And voila! Spaceship! Uh, yeah. That's about all I can say to this. It's basically the Megazord fall down, falled, fell down, and the arms attached to the legs somehow. I mean, it's a somewhat convincing starship destroyer sort of thing. Uh... But it just looks so weird because it's comprised of Gigazord pieces. That it just doesn't look like a spaceship whatsoever. But uh, the, the shapes there, just the, the pieces that make it up is ridiculous. But there are boosters down here. They're not painted, but they're boosters. Fire. And uh, such like that. So uh, to convert it back, you just rewind my video and watch the steps um so while i do this i'm just gonna say that this is a really weird and awkward toy um for the kids who don't have any of the samurai toy line yet one i don't know what you're doing uh two this still isn't entirely worth it but uh if your kid just really wants a Gigazord, and uh, if you're a parent in particular, you don't want to buy all of the individual Megazords since it's about 90... $150 bucks or so at least to form the Samurai Gigazord. You can buy this one for about 30 bucks, and it from the front, it isn't that bad. Uh, again, the whole paint thing is horrible. Uh, absolutely horrible. But um, in terms of a simple display piece and a Gigazord that your child can hold fairly easy, wiggle it around without it breaking, and just go, Brah, we are united, and stuff. Um, it's not a bad toy in that aspect. Uh, for collectors, obviously, this is only a must-have if you are a completist. Um, but other than that, I can't really recommend this at all. I mean, it does have Zord Builder functionality. So if you are one of the people that like to mix and match their Zords with the Zord Builder uh, technology, uh, then this gives you a bunch of extra pieces to kind of uh, fool around with. But really, I mean, it's a, it's a stupid-looking Gigazord. It doesn't give off the large prominence that the uh, normal Gigazord has simply because it's flat. It doesn't have the big throne feel to it. Um, but the base portions of the Gigazord are there. Uh, this is now on the arms instead of being on the back. And, in fact, those parts aren't even hugely visible on the Gigazord. But uh, that aside, it's a... Fun Megazord, it just really is weird, uh, since a lot of people that were collecting have the Gigazord already, this is kind of a really, really pointless thing to do. But, um, Bandai needed to pad out the line because they're not used to this whole two years for one show get up, uh, so it's understandable. I would have rather have seen a repaint of one of the Zords, a repaint of the Megazord maybe. Uh, and try to pass these off as different animals if that's physically possible. I mean, you could call the Apezord a monkey and 
the bear a uh, something and the dragon a different dragon, maybe? I don't know. But um, I think there's a lot of things that they could have did that weren't this. But like I said, if you uh, if you have a child and you want them to own a Gigazord and you don't want to spend all the money for all the individual pieces, this is a fairly nice substitute that I think kids will enjoy. But the adult collectors, uh, obviously, and uh, the kids that uh, are a real stickler for show accuracy and stuff like that probably won't enjoy this all too much. Um, in terms of a toy, I like it. Uh, in terms of a Megazord, I don't particularly like it. And in terms of a Power Rangers um, final combination thing, it's kind of stupid. But um, So it, it's a, your mileage may vary recommendation. Uh, I like it on the base aspects, but it's just not particularly a good toy. Um, if you really want a Gigazord, skip this, get the individual pieces. Yeah, it costs more, but there's so much more functionality in normal um, Megazords and the Zords that compared to this thing that's trying really hard to be a Gigazord. But if you just want a Gigazord for your shelf that you can kind of dick around with, then this is a pretty nice little cheap substitute but uh other than that i can't really recommend it at all uh, this can slide in here i believe no no ha yeah you can it kind of sticks out really strange it looks like it got stabbed but it fits in there so yeah uh slightly recommended i guess maybe not really so uh, you can check out shukanshobi.com for latest updates on my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out RidersRangersAndRambles.com bringing the latest token news and the craziest way possible. So take care and have a great one. Bye.